A seed. A little part of a tree. A little thing that no one notices. A seed. A little piece of wood that contains thousands of pages of information. Time will pass. This piece of wood will begin to use sunlight and the water and minerals in the earth. In time, it will grow millions of times its size. And it will become one of the greatest miracles for people to see. It will become a tree. Fruit trees follow a similar method. They use human beings and animals to transport their seeds. And the fee they pay for the transportation of their seeds is their fruit. When a seed matures, the flesh around it changes color and becomes sweet and delicious. In this way, they actually advertise themselves so that human beings and animals will pick them. Birds love this sight and realize that it means a delicious feast for them. At this point, let's think once more. Using muddy soil, water, and sunlight, trees produce delicious fruit. They produce valuable nutrition for human beings and animals as if they understood the anatomy of their bodies. And they produce this nutritious food according to a design that ensures the distribution of their seeds. But we must not forget that trees are composed of wood, roots, and leaves. They have no capacity for thought or reason. The fact that trees with no intelligence or consciousness can produce food both nourishing and delicious for human beings and animals is a proof of the existence of God. God created plants and gave them to the service of human beings. In a verse of the Quran, God proclaims, It is He who sends down water from the sky from which we bring forth growth of every kind, and from that we bring forth the green shoots, and from them we bring forth close-packed seeds, and from the spathes of the date palm date clusters hanging down, and gardens of grapes and olives and pomegranates, both similar and dissimilar. Look at their fruits as they bear fruit and ripen. There are signs in that for people who believe. Some plants live where animals cannot reach them. And they sow their seeds by themselves with no help from anyone.
For example, this species of vine that lives on high walls uses an amazing method. It survives and spreads in the cracks of 30 meter high walls. When the seeds mature, the leaves fall off and the seed capsule appears. At this point, the plant does a miraculous thing. As you see in the fast motion, it moves to the nearest cavity or crack and buries its seed by itself. This is a miraculous activity. In the light of what you have seen, you must ask yourself some questions. How does a little plant with no intelligence or consciousness know that it has to plant its seeds? How does it know that its seeds can only live in cracks and crevices? Who gave it the faculty of motion required to leave its maturated seeds in a crevice? A plain fact comes to light. God created this plant. It makes this intelligent and amazing movement thanks to the miraculous systems that God gave it. In a verse in the Quran, God maintains God is he who splits the seed and kernel. He brings forth the living from the dead and produces the dead out of the living. That is God. So how are you perverted?